Hello guys, today we are going to try to beat the new insane AI difficulty in Battle for Middle Earth 1 on the patch 2.22, which is harder than anything you can imagine. Trust me on that one. So that's gonna be a whole different experience now. And we are playing the Rohan faction against Isengard on the patch 2.22. And you know me, normally I like to play against 7 hard armies at the same time, but this is different. And you will see what I'm talking about very, very soon. So at the beginning of the game, let's recruit uh, the Hobbit and build up two farms. And hopefully we will be able to stall the game long enough to get the Rohirrim army we need. Rohirrim, Rohir marches with Theorin leadership, Eoma leadership, Glorious Charge, Outlaw leadership to get additional money and resources. And until then, it's going to be really difficult. Trust me. I mean, you will see. You will see. Less stalking, more action. So you will see. They will buy upgrades very, very soon. They will come with siege weapons in about a minute to our gate. And this is going to be kind of tough to win. Okay, so we have both the settlements under our control. Our peasants, they don't stand a chance against the crossbowmen. And our hobbits will need to get cloaked. And hopefully, I mean, we won't be able to do much with the hobbits. But maybe in a, in a very fair world, we would be able to steal some money from the creep. So let's hit and run. Enough of this. One more. Oh, maybe it was a mistake. Can I get cloaked? Please, please, please. Oh, not even, not even close, baby. Calculated. Calculated, Kappa. The goal is to fill up our base with farms exclusively. And then we will recruit, first of all, Theorin, then a couple of Rohirrim, then Eoma. That's the build order, which is extremely important. Eoma is actually key to victory here because of, our, uh, because of his outlaw leadership which means we can get money for killing enemy units, which is going to be important because keeping the map control against this AI is literally impossible. We've got to do something. This way. Don't mind me, I will just steal the money. <laughs> That's going to be actually quite cool to steal the money here, which is quite helpful. Nice, Ooh. and now we have 600 in the bank. Oh, but our Hobbit, dude, there is no victory without sacrifice. Meriadoc Brandybog, thank you so much for sacrificing yourself. I mean, let's close the gate and hope for the best, because as you can see, he's pressuring already the bottom farm. He has a huge army in the middle of the map, and we need to save up now for 1200 to recruit the king of Rohan, the king Theodin. And he would like to see what can men do against such a reckless hit. Hopefully, we will be able to win this one. But it's, it's gonna be, guys, guys, oh my goodness. By the way, you can also, if you are looking for a really, a really incredible challenge, you can download the file from our Discord PFME Files channel and place it simply in your installation folder. This will give you the chance to also have this experience similar to ours now in the scheme, in a single player experience. So, trust me, like beating one AI, one AI only is already a big achievement and obviously we're gonna try to do that with Rohan Gondor first you know that's gonna be obviously a bit easier because we have walls protecting us then we will be trying to beat also enemy uh, Isengard and Mordor with our own Isengard and Mordor that's gonna be also much more challenging but from what I've seen in this couple of weeks is that the Isengard AI is by far the worst and the strongest Okay, so we are waiting for the Rohirrim. Oh my, you see that? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. The Ballista is already shooting our gate, dude. We gotta build a post and gate. And hopefully we'll be able to kill the Ballista very soon. Come on, Rohirrim, I need you on the field. And by the way, we are also on the beta version of the patch 2.02. Uh, we are working actively on making this patch to a great one, to a greater one. And the next update will be actually a huge update, which hopefully will be able to increase the speed of the game and also make the infantry a little bit more valuable. As you guys know, especially, especially when you play with, uh, with Rohan and Gondor, the infantry was kind of meh. You know, there was only one solid strategy, and it was the Rohirrim for the Rohan faction and Gondor Knights for the Gondor faction. But we will be trying our best to also make the Gondor soldiers, peasants, yeoman archers, elven warriors a bit more reliable. Okay, great. That's uh, you saw. I mean, he was getting a ballista and instantly the battering ram. But he has many, many crossbowmen. That's great for us. We will. We should be able to get a lot of experience here. Watch this. Patch formation. 
Oh boy, nice trample. The row here in for death and glory. We have also the heal from the spellbook just for the worst case scenario. We have almost the glorious charge already. One more trample is all it takes. We can go for one more. We need to kill the ladder though. The ladder should not make it to our wall. Nice one. We have Elma leadership already. Glorious charge is almost available. But since Elma is level 3 or higher, we will also get now additional money and resources for killing those enemy units. Okay, I mean, so far it's not looked... Oh, never mind. <laughs> back, back to the... <laughs> You saw that, you see this? Dude, rest in peace, Gate. I'm telling you, boys. I'm telling you. This is insane. We need to build a well. You know, okay, Glorious Charge is available at least, but we don't need to use it as we are talking. We need to kill this Ballista and hopefully... <laughs> Dude, guys, don't type to me in the chat, but Shanks, you don't focus on the map control. You don't have time to do that. You don't have time to do that. You have no time and no freedom to leave your castle, not even for a single minute. Okay, we have three Rohirrim now, that's good. We need one more to get the stable to level 2 for the Horseman Shields. Now we have our heroes highly leveled. The Ballistas, they have zero protection. And luckily for us, as we are talking, the enemy Isengard AI has no pikemen to counter our Rohirrim. But, trust me, we will eventually recruit some pikemen very, very soon. So, okay, I, I want to actually go for a, for a rush. I want to be, you know, I want to kill his Siege Works. Oh, glorious charge. Let's go. Money, money, money. Look at this. Look at the bottom left side of your screen. The money is rising to the sky. The glorious charge with the Elma leadership is coming in clutch. Can I kill the siege works, please? I have no blades yet. I have no heavy armor yet. I don't have the tankiness nor the damage output to kill a level 3 building. It was a mistake and I will be losing so many of my Rohirrim. Mistakes are made, boys. We lost two battalions. But I want to destroy this annoying siege works already in hope that the AI won't rebuild it anytime soon. Because the per perma pressure on the castle is annoying to deal with. And you see, you have zero chance. And, and I mean literally, you have zero chance to keep any of the outside settlements protected. Z z you know, zero chance. And without Elma and his outlaw leadership, he would be broke, he would be poor. And you see, he has upgrades on his Urukai. And we need to build the armory now. You, he has heavy armor plus forge plates. We, we didn't even repair the gate yet. We are in a very bad spot. Let's build the armory. Come on now. We need to stall. We need to fight around the well. He has even loads up on the field, boys. Crossbow man with heavy armor and fire arrow up. <laughs> this is something else. Okay. I mean, luckily, we have a lot of leadership. And also at the well, we are able to heal up while we are fighting, you know? So we gotta trample them all the time. Elma is level 6. And hope, I mean, you know, with heavy armor and forge plates, it would be much, much easier, but it's easier said than done. We have no money. Kill lords, please. Kill lords, please, 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 please. Heavy armor first. I mean, we don't need DPS, we need survivability, we need tankiness. Lords, go down already, my friend. Nice. Lords has been slain, that's good. Our Theoden is level 9 and Elma is level 7. Unfortunately, after level uh, 6, the levels don't really matter that much. I mean, obviously, they will get a little bit more tanky and also a little bit more damage. But both of these Rohan heroes, Elma, but also Theodin, are more like a sportive hero. They are not the crazy hero like Aragorn is, for example, Degolas is, or Gandalf is. Okay, and even explosive mines. Holy God. <laughs> holy guys. The seed spam is crazy. You have to end allies. I want to actually summon the ends to kill the siege warriors. That's what I'm going to try to do. Let's use Glorious Charge one more time. We gotta. That's our priority. We need to kill the Siege Warriors. That's gonna buy us some time to move outside of the castle finally, you know? Look at this um, explosive mind spam. Let's throw rocks. Oh my goodness. He has even fire. Oh, I mean, we cannot let them touch. And you see, the second you summon the ants, the AI now will. Oh, <laughs> you see this? They are sending all the Lumber Mill workers to deal with our ants. If you don't know, the Lumber Mill workers in Battle for Middle Earth 1 are dealing increased and crazy amount of damage to the ants. Just like in the films. And uh, yeah, I don't think we can destroy this anytime soon. This building, level 3 buildings generally are extremely tanky. The production buildings at least. So the, unit, the buildings where you can recruit units from, they are extremely tanky. So taking them down is going to take us some time. And during all this time, we need to stall. Don't right-click into the Citadel. <laughs> we don't want to sell the units. Okay, we have heavy armor on every single one of them. We have forge plates on every single one of them. Now, very soon, we need to build um, the archery range to get fire or purchased. 
This way we can also recruit the Rohirrim archers and give them the fire arrow weapons. Oh, nice. Nice. We actually destroyed the enemy siege works. That's huge, huge, huge. That's going to buy us at least some time, you know? Now we can eventually move out and try to now fight for the map control is when there are no siege weapons, our gate should be protected. That's... <laughs> you see this explosive mines. Luckily, one thing I need to mention, the AI doesn't know how to make them boom. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, I mean, our army is looking very strong, but I want to still kill them. And there is one specific reason for that. If the AI will summon Balrog, and not if, when the AI will summon Balrog, um, and the Balrog uses breath fire on the gate, it will make those explosive mines boom, and then we will be losing multiple parts of the wall, and every single one of them is gonna cost us 2,000 to repair. And we can definitely not afford that. We still need a lot. We have only 45 out of 250 population. We need to fill our command points with a huge Rohirrim army, just like in the films, you know? Okay, with Glorious Charge available, now we should be looking very, very strong with, you know, heavy armor, forge plates, the into horseman shields. Our Rohirrim, they should be extremely tanky and also hitting like a truck. And yeah, he has definitely one more Siege Forks somewhere on the map. Maybe at the outpost at the top right side. Because I see still buddy. Oh my goodness, look at this. Pikeman now. And that's what I'm talking about. The AI is evolving, boys. And it's not them being too smart now. To, you know, unfortunately, that's a very old game. And you cannot really make them smart. Uh, but they are cheating. <laughs> you know, long story short, they are cheating. They have increased DPS. They have a lot of money. Cost reduction to recruit heroes. They have increased production speed. It means they can recruit units much, much faster than you can. So long story short, it's a permanent cheat. Okay, let's check this outpost up, right? Look at... Oh my... He didn't build anything here. I mean, he might actually have replaced the siege works inside his main castle eventually. Okay, so let's kill this, please. Nice. Oh, he's building siege works. You see that? Luckily, we have almost the EOD back up. But... I mean, EOD available. But... Uh, the AI might summon his power rock. And one thing I need to say, just in case you want to try that out yourself, don't use the EOD to deal with the Balrog. Because the Balrog, even if you use the EOD, will still do what he, whatever he wants to do. If he wants to kill your gate, he will still do that. And for that reason, we're going to use the EOD now offensively and try to destroy the Siege Works. That's our primary goal. And for that reason, let's send the EOD first inside the castle. Make sure that everything is being tanked by the, uh, by the EOD. And then our Rohirrim can do whatever. Let's kill the Uruk pit first. I want to actually cut down his unit production a little bit. I mean, destroying the level 3 Uruk pit is actually huge. It means no more pikemen anytime soon for the Isengard AI. Now let's destroy this and get out. Get out, get out, get out. Now it's time to run. Actually, we can maybe... Oh, but the AOD is gone now. That's gonna be... Oh, you see what I'm talking about? There comes the Balrog, the demon of the ancient world. <laughs> and as you can see and tell... We didn't lose that much in this game, but the AI is cheating. And the signal for the for the AI, there is like a limited time. After this limited time, AI will get access automatically to the demon of the ancient world. And that's exactly what happened. And we are about to lose 50% of our castle. He killed the gate, he destroyed the citadel, and also the archer range now. Holy moly. <laughs> okay, I mean, now we gotta go back. And you see he has pikemen in the porcupine formation too. They're gonna be extremely annoying to deal with. Warc riders. Uh, Balrog is still doing his thing by the way. He legit destroyed like my steeple. He destroyed my citadel, my archer range. But luckily for us, we were able to buy the fire already. So it's not a big deal. I didn't want to recruit any, I didn't want to recruit any archers anyway. I actually wanted to recruit the Rohirrim archers. This way I can have this mobile army. Keep fighting. Eoma is almost level 10. Kirtan is already level 10. Two power points collected. We have not only... Uh, we, the only power point we are missing is Anduri's sword. But I don't think that we will be able to recruit Aragorn anytime soon. Aragorn is not a bad hero, don't get me wrong. But I think we need a bigger army. That's the priority. Look at the Ballista spam. Do you see that, boys? You see how many Ballistas he has on the field? Holy quackamole. Destroy the Ballistas. And more of them are coming. So he has definitely a Siege Forks at the top right outpost now. Kill them all, kill them all. 
I mean, we have money. We are getting a lot of money, luckily for us, from Elma. Okay, now it's time to recruit some Rohiri marches. Oh, dude, that's like an insane pressure. You see that? Ballistas, explosive mines, literally every siege weapon in the in the universe is being recruited by the Isengard AI. Oh yeah, oh yeah, double siege works. You know what is it? What it is? Double siege works in a Uruk pit. <laughs> That's crazy, dude. He has even also... Oh, that's bad for me. The Freezing Rain actually shuts down my ex the existence of our mounted Rohan heroes. I want to summon the Elven allies to stall time for them to not enter our castle. As the gate is still, rebuil is still rebuilding. And the Freezing Rain is messing us up. So I don't want to destroy the outpost. I want to just peel back after destroying the siege works. And now we gotta go and heal. Okay, so, <laughs> I mean, what do you guys think? Please let me know in the comment section down below. And if you, if you once again, if you want to try that out yourself, you can download the file in our Discord's PFME Files channel and place it in your installation folder, in your programs, EA Games, my The Battle for Middle-earth. I want to give hold ground stance. This way, I'm not going to shoot automatically at the explosive mines, you know? It's very important with the battle stances, you can actually tell your units, hey, don't attack anything until I tell you to attack, which can be extremely good in, situation like, in situations like that, in which you don't want to accidentally click on an on a explosive mine with fire arrow and make it boom, you know, and lose half your base in a single second. Okay, I mean, the Balrog is going to be on cooldown now for the next couple of minutes, and we need to use this cooldown window to actually make stuff happen. So what I have in my mind is actually maybe go for the outpost control, or maybe go for the main castle, I don't know yet. But luckily our gate is back up and we need to now, you know, it's hard. There is too much, too many units, too many units. And we are also broke. I mean, every Rohirmacha is so expensive with the fire arrow upgrade, with the heavy armor and so on. Okay, so let's reclaim this farm, even though it's hard to keep it up, but... Let's do it anyway. We have level 10 Rohirrim, though. Three battalion of the level 10 Rohirrim. They are pretty powerful with full upgrades. They are like a one-man army, especially with leadership from Theoden and Elma. Let's cl uh, claim this farm as well. Did he actually buy the outpost? Nope, he didn't. So we can now buy the outpost for ourselves. Great. And now we can also build a statue as well, you know. And we don't need to go all the way back to the castle every time when we are damaged. So we can just go back to the outpost, heal up, and do that over and over again. Now we get the rotate from the bottom set. And hopefully we'll be able to pressure this main castle. Okay, I mean, as long as there are no pikemen, and even if he has pikemen now on the field, it's okay. Because now we have Rohirrim Archer Battalion with fire arrow, and they should be able to kill the pikemen in no time. Okay, one more trample. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. For death and glory. Let's destroy the Orphang if we can. Let's kill a couple of towers. To, I mean, the thing is, we don't even need power points at this point. We have all the power points unlocked from the spell book. There is nothing else to collect. But we can maybe deal some damage to his main castle. Even though our Rohirrim matches are getting kind of crushed. We have the end special summon available. Let's use it right off the bat. And focus down the buildings. One, two, three. Okay, I mean, I don't know. Oh my goodness, look at this. He rebuilt the siege works at the outpost. We gotta, oh, Saruman one is coming too. Saruman one is coming too. We have EOD special summon. I don't want to use EOD here. Oh, he stole one of my Rohirrim with Saruman. Did you guys see that? Did you guys see that? He firebolt almost one shot our heroes. Okay, he got, he got killed though. Now we gotta build, we gotta build, we gotta build. We, gotta, we need to use the EOD defensively. He's breaking through the gate like it's nothing. Now we need to make stuff happen. And we also unfortunately lost so many of our um, seats. We'll, oh my, look at this army, boys. That's Balrog too. <laughs> Dude, what is happening? What is happening? But luckily for us, he actually summoned the Balrog at the bottom outpost. That's good for us. Even though it doesn't look like that. But trust me, as long as our main castle is protected, I'm fine. I don't mind about losing an outpost, which is much, much cheaper than losing a castle. So, what is he doing, this Balrog? Oh, 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 
What is it gonna do? Breath fire, are you kidding me? And destroying the full outpost. Did you guys ever see a AI Balrog doing that? I haven't. That's busted, dude. That's crazy. And here's Freezing Rain too, right? We have no leadership as we are talking. We have no leadership. Okay, um... Alright, do this. Bye. We need to spam more and more Rohirrim all the time. But it's the Balrog cat. Did Balrog expire? I think he did. Oh, we have the Warg Riders up on the field. Let's use Elvin Wood. This way, at least... Oh my goodness, the Balrog isn't dead yet! What is the Balrog doing? Oh, nice. Oh, I was so lucky. He was all about to kill the... <laughs> what? Did you guys see that? He actually killed the outpost at the bottom left side and fly all the way to our main castle. And that's AI in battle for middle of one and the reason why we don't want to implement that into the new patch is because i believe it's just too difficult for a casual player who likes to play against one two three hard ais this is going to make him uninstall the game and we don't want it to happen right and i'm a player i played this for many many years and i'm still struggling a lot you see that it's like not easy trust me on that one And even though I don't like to camp, but I think we need to kind of go back now to the main castle. Oh my goodness, the Ballista spam. Let's use Glorious Charge once again. And let's kill those Ballistas. He's using Vorchan too on his crossbow, man. Okay. I mean, kill everything here. Let's give them also the Fire Rose upgrade. Keep shooting from a safe distance. We need to make sure that we are tanking the damage with the normal Rohirrim. And the Rohirrim Arches are there for our damage output. But they need to be protected. They are not as tanky as Rohirrim. Rohirrim are way tankier. Oh my goodness, we need to go for a trample here. Let's go trample. Oh, he killed my Teotin. I didn't pay attention. No way. Dude, you see how many pikemen he has in the porcupine formation? Are you kidding me? Did we just lose the game, actually? I think we might have lost the game now. Teotin, no Teotin means we have almost no leadership available. We have only damage from Ilma, but we have no glorious charge. We have no additional armor. And we need armor, even more than damage, to survive this. What is happening? You see how many pikemen he has? Level 5, level 5 pikemen. Ballista. In the porcupine formation. Oh my goodness, please, please, please. Can we actually defend this somehow? Oh my goodness, it might be GG boys. It might be GG boys. Oh, <laughs> but that could be like a proof that the AI has evolved like he's even targeting our battle towers look how many ballistas he's spamming you know it's crazy he has even a, a explosive mine at our well we need to try to kill as many ballistas as we can but the second we kill them more of them are coming let's use speed throw with Ilma to one shot them one of them boom because he's level 10 obviously let's kill this ballista let's kill this ballista and hopefully we will be able to stall the game long enough we have still Rohirrim matches upon the field, so two of them, and only one Rohirrim is left. We all, we lost all the level 10 Rohirrim, but it's okay, because levels don't matter anything, as we will get the chance to kill 20,000 units anyway, and every one of them is gonna be level 10 eventually, very soon as well. But holy moly guys, I'm telling you, this is a full different experience. This is a full different experience, now we need to spam, our money isn't looking that great either, but we have King Theodin back on the menu. There is always hope, as Aragorn would like to see. Never give up, never surrender. This pikeman spam is getting actually on my nerves. We have the end special summon available, but we need to kind of find a solution to this siege spam. Let's go. Trample them down. Let's use Glory's Charge. For death and glory. And write it down. Write it down. Hey, don't shoot the explosive mine, please. Don't shoot the explosive mine, please. Okay, I uh, need to be careful, you know, when we... <laughs> oh, look, you see how many pikemen he has, dude? You see how many pikemen he has? Holy... <laughs> what the heck? Do you see this? This is busted. This is busted. This is busted. I'm speechless. I am really speechless. What is happening? Dude, the army is kind of crazy. And how can we now deal with all these pikemen? They are coming to our gate and we have not even the gate up on the field anymore. I want to summon the ends actually offensively to kill the siege works already. Please kill the siege works. I don't want to deal with 20,000 ballistas anymore. And we also kind of need to find a solution to this uh, Uruk pits. You know, he spams units. You see this? This wave of endless units. The second you deal with them, more of them are coming. It's like doubling up. It's like killing one drake with two heads. And the second you kill the second head, the third head is actually spawning. That's how it feels like the AI. 
This is... We need to kind of find a new name for this difficulty, guys. Any suggestions in the chat? You know, I would call it, like, brutal, but this is even beyond brutal, you know? But maybe we have a great idea about the name, how we can name this AI, you know, of the page 2.22. Now we need to kill all these ballista and there is lords inside the castle i don't know man i don't know man i don't know man it's like you see how many pikemen he has still on the field what can i do against that we need to more we need to get rec <laughs> i can't even talk we need to recruit more rohirrim archers that's what we need to do let's give whole, whole ground stance to the normal rohirrim and make sure that they are not tanking let's use the glorious charge and we have eod almost back up i think we need to we need to we have to use the eod defensively i think so yeah I think we have to use it, though. I don't want to use it, but... Oh, my. Okay, we have to use it, man. We, we cannot fight. There are just too many of them. Let's use AOD now. Just too many of them, you know? Okay, kill them all, please. We need time. We need time, but the AOD means also that the AI will now, very very soon, spawn his own Balrog. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. I mean, just kill as much as we can. There's still Ballista up on the top side. We need to now get the bottom outpost. And hopefully the AI will once again spawn the Balrog kind at the bottom side. And not in our castle. So when you buy a when you buy an outpost, the AI most of the time will spawn the Balrog to kill the outpost. Never mind, here's the <laughs> Balrog spawned already. And he's coming, boys. He's coming to our base. Oh man, oh man, oh man. There is also explosive mine. So if he actually hits that explosive mine with the Breath fire, we are done though. We are screwed. I mean, he has too many units, dude. How, what can men do? Theorin was right. What can men do against such a reckless hate? Crossbowmen, Urukai, Pikemen, Warcryers, Lord Saruman, literally Balrog, everything. It's everything. I mean. We are winning this fight, but we also lose units in the meantime. I mean, we have no other choice, right? We need to kind of fight this. Let's. I want to buy this outpost once again. And the, okay, okay, uh, okay. I don't know, man. I don't know, boys. I don't know. Let's use heal. I mean, did he kill the well? No, that's good for me, but. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Wow, man, wow, man. This is crazy. This is literally crazy. Look at the spam. He killed the well too, but it means we have no recovery anymore. Guys, let's use Cloud Break, please. Let's stun them at least. That's gonna buy us some time. Lourdes is attacking our uh, Elma, but our Elma is level 10, so he's not, he's not gonna be that weak. Now we can kill him actually quite fast with this highly leveled Rohirrim. And Rohirrim Archer. Die, please. Nice. We are still in the game somehow. Even though, look our base. Look, the base is not looking very new. Am I right, guys? It looks like it's from 1756 or something. Hmm. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay, now we need to kind of make a move, but it's easier said than done. So we need to definitely try to take down the outpost now. Because defending only is not going to make us win the game. So we need to try to go for the victory... But the question is, how? We lost the stable once again. That will make, you know, cost us so much additional time. Because the level 1 stable is producing the units way slower than a level 2 and a level 3. And the pikeman spam never ends. The, re the rain is messing us up. We need to wait for the well to be picked up. And look at this war rider army. Uruks with armor and blades. Pikemen. What your heart desires is on the field. We have nothing up. We can summon the ants, but what can ants do here? <laughs> Let's try anyway. Hopefully, the ants are gonna, you know, buy enough time for them before they can enter the castle. Are we losing this, though? I mean, we are losing this, kind of. We are losing. We have nine command points, six command points available, dude. That's crazy. I don't know, man. More of them are coming. You see, with armor, bleeds, fire upgrades. <laughs> I'm telling you, I've never struggled this much against an actual player in multiplayer games. I'm telling you.
I mean, we need to kind of save them, but yeah. He killed the ends too. We are trying to rebuild the gate, but it's at 20 person only. So let's go for glorious chargers. We are losing the outpost in the meantime. One more trample. Come on, don't die, Rohirrim. I need you. Heal up at the well, slowly but surely. We are actually in a, in a good spot while we are fighting, because we are fighting at the well. Our Rohirrim archers are actually shooting all the time, and we are kind of able to keep them away from the Rohirrim archers. With the normal Rohirrim and with the heroes. So our Rohirrim matches in the wedge formation are dealing a lot of damage during all this time. EOD is almost back up. We might need to use the EOD. But dude, that's, that's scary, dude. That's really, really scary. Oh man, you see this army? <laughs> this is something else. This is something else. This is something else. He's even focusing on Rohir matches, you know. Let's, but now we have Glorious Charge. Let's write it down. He makes some money for killing them. We don't even kill them with one trample because they have heavy armor and everything. Even Lourdes was around with the leadership. That's why they were glowing and shining bright like a diamond. And now, hopefully, that's going to buy us some time. So, I believe now we have the gate repaired. We have a lot of units back on the menu. And now is the time for us to shine. Now we gotta make something happen. We need to wait until we are fully recovered. I think it's time now to actually go for a counter-attack. Close the gate and hope for the best, I'm telling you guys. So now let's move to the bottom side to the outpost and capture the outpost. Because the Balrog summon is gonna happen very, very soon. And for that reason, we need to make sure that we are buying the outpost and kind of forcing the AI to summon the Balrog to defeat and destroy the outpost inside of the main castle. As long as the main castle is protected... Oh my... Do you see this? Triple Siege Fork is coming up for AI just like that. What is happening, dude? Okay, we have EOD almost back up. Luckily, we were able to find those Siege Forks before the production has begun. It means we are in a, in a kind of good spot. <laughs> okay, he's spamming Warg Riders, dude. He's spamming Warg Riders. We need more and more units on the field. But we need to first of all buy the outpost. Come on. Come on, you are the team one as well. Join with the others. What is this Warcrider army? Do you see that, boys? What is this Warcrider army? <laughs> Dude, we gotta fight this, but I, the thing is, I don't even know if this is worth it to fight. Because you see how many more of them are coming. I'm very, very tempted to use EOD here. I gotta be honest. Let's go. Now we can go now to the main castle. I wanna go to the main castle. Let's buy the outpost and rotate to the main castle. Let's try to destroy the main castle in the meantime. If we can destroy the main castle, that would be actually a huge, huge achievement. Because then we can buy it. And there comes the Balrog, you see? There comes the Balrog. And buying this outpost was the key to victory, guys. Now, that might actually have won, won us the game now. Look how much more he has, dude. You see how many upgraded units he has on the field. And Freezing Rain is messing me up. So I cannot really go for the main castle at this point. Because uh, the Freezing Rain is shutting down all our leadership bonuses. Let's go for a trample. We can even trample Pikeman with the Glorious Charge, you know. That's possible. We don't get one-shotted when we are trampling Pikeman. As long as we are using Glorious Charge, of course. But the problem is we have no leadership besides Glorious Charge. All the leadership is being negated from the Freezing Rain. What is this Balrog doing? Is he gonna go to my castle now? Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Okay, I mean, we need to... Check what he's doing. Oh, he has not much time left anymore. Oh, he's using Rafi on the army. He killed my level 10 Rohir March. Are you kidding me? Balrog, I hate you. I hate you, Balrog. Okay, at least he is actually gone. So, the second the leadership is back, we can actually do stuff. Go back, please. I can. You are so low. Let's use heal. We, we can also summon the ends, but I want to actually... Heal up first around the well. The wells are still not up on the field, you know? So with this, hopefully we'll be able to buy some time for us. The statue is almost up. Come on, well, please. Okay, we have... The thing is, if you don't know, so if enemy is using rain and you have, like, badly damaged uh, battalion, every unit from the battalion that is respawning after the rain has been used will have leadership back. So the well is actually very important for the good factions like Gondor and Rohan. We should be able to win this fight though, but it, look, you see them, they, have, they are like level 5, level 6 Urukai. They don't even die to one trample. 
but he will be able to defend and now i think now is the time for us to shine oh my goodness we can't he doesn't give us a single minute time but i think we need to ignore the outpost and go for the main castle already we need to try to take down the main castle but uh, we should be doing that once we have enough money to buy um the castle we need five thousand for that right what I don't want to have is when, I, when we destroy the castle, we have no money to buy it, so AI is just buying it back, so it's going to be like a never-ending story. And that would be the worst possible situation. So we can also play that a little bit slow, go for the map control, try to take down the mills, get some farms, you know, in the meantime. Guys, sorry for not commentating as much as I normally do, but this game is so intense. The, I've never seen this many units on the field at the same time. Even though we have a huge army, and this Rohan army in many situations would be unmatchable, but, you know, the spam is crazy. Okay, we have leadership back on the menu, that's good. We have now also multiple Rohirrim archers. We always give the number one for the normal Rohirrim and heroes, and number two for the Rohirrim archers. Oh my goodness, <laughs> that's crazy. We need to kill the pikemen with the Rohira matches though. Kill the pikemen and everything else can be trampled. Okay, so let's recruit more and more and more. I mean, uh, guys, it's unbelievable that I couldn't get the chance in the entire game to not recruit Gimli, Legolas or Aragorn. They are so good too, but the thing is, most of the time you have not the time and the money to get those heroes recruited. Okay, now we have almost 3,000 in the bank, right? We have almost 3,000 in the bank. And we have a huge army of Rohirrim and Rohirrim archers. A huge army. Now, once we deal with the castle, we might have the money we need to buy it. Then we have two castles, and that means even for the next Balrog summon, in the worst case, we will be losing one of the castles, but it's fine. For death and glory, let's go. Finish off this castle, please. Please, please, please. Kill everything. There's too many towers too. Destroy everything, boys. The seat, um, the, okay, I think he, that's the reason why he had this many, uh, you know, war riders on the field. Let's use this. Oh, I see Saruman freezing rain once again. What is the cooldown of that? Like one minute or what? Oh, he's war chanting too. Oh my goodness, man, I cannot believe it. Can I finally please destroy this castle? He doesn't let me, boys. He doesn't let me. Okay, I don't want to lose my entire army, though. Because the thing is, um, I don't have that much money. And I would like to save money to buy the castle. So we can fight it too well, once again. That's no problem. The freezing rain lasts for like two and a half minutes. So until then, we should be getting also our glorious charge back up, and then we can go for a um, big fight. Let's let's crush the Saruman. Saruman, you have no chance. You have no power here. Saruman, do it. Nice boys. Nice, 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 nice. It's huge. We did it. So uh, you know, Saruman is down. We have a huge army with almost full population of Rohirrim and Rohirrim archers. We have like five battalion of Rohirrim archers, like eight battalion of Ro normal Rohirrim. This army is ready to face to face against any other army. I'm telling you that much. And EOD is almost back up too. So with EOD and, and this army, we should be easily able to take down the enemy castle. Once the freezing rain is actually off. Okay, boys, look at this army, dude. I'm telling you, you see this army of Rohirrim? That's a huge army, man. It's like a campaign army, guys. I'm telling you. Okay. So, look at this, man. It looks sexy and beautiful. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Rohirrim archers, Rohirrim. Just focus down the buildings at this point. Just focus down the buildings. There is nothing else we have to do. We can also summon the AOD defensively if it's gonna be needed. Um, just to make sure that we are able to defend ourselves while we're taking care of the enemy castle. There are multiple units coming now from the top side, but it's fine. We will just ignore them and keep focusing down uh, the structures. Now the castle has been destroyed. And the AI has only one outpost left. And I cannot believe it, but it looks like we will be winning this game, boys. We will... Oh my goodness, he has still a huge army, dude. What the heck? What the heck? Okay, okay, okay. But the death and glory, dude. Nice, oh, nice, 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 nice. 
Let's kill them and buy this castle now. I want to buy this castle. And there are too many pikemen. I don't want to actually lose my Rohirrim by trying to kill them. We don't need to use EOD someone else. So we can now just buy this castle. And we have double castle and one outpost. It means the AI has only one single outpost left on the menu. And that is going to be our final target. So let's build double well for the sustain. We have great amount of map control too. We should be in a phenomenal spot. I don't see us losing this game anymore. And what a game, boys. What a game. Please let me know what do you think about the AI in the comment section down below. I will also kill this uh, explosive mines for you guys. Just because so you can leave a like on me. Look, I'm gonna kill them to break my own part of the wall, okay? And for that reason, you have to like this video. Because Shanks is a person for content destroying his own castle, okay? I'm gonna do that for you guys. Because I know you guys like the explosive mines. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah, we can we can summon everything at this point. The Elven Wood. The Elven Elias. Okay. Go, 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 go. Watch this, watch this. Watch this. Boom. <laughs> Dude, he had so many explosive mines clumped at some point and we broke just like four parts of the wall. But I would gladly destroy even more than that just to earn your like on this video, guys. Oh, the Balrog of Demon uh, of the Ancient World is coming, boys. Oh, Pikeman in Porcupine Formation. Maybe it was a mistake because I see an army rotating now to the main castle too. What? <laughs> Imagine we lose now the main castle because of that stupid stuff that we just did. You can use Cloudbreak here to stun them eventually. And ba oh, Balrog is gonna actually target the new castle. So please go. I cannot believe it. What is going on? Let's let's save them. Send them to the well, please. Go to the well to heal up and fight. We have also multiple towers, but the Balrog is getting inside the jeans. Now we need to heal up, recover, and go for the final push. <laughs> look how the, look the base is looking so funny when it's broken like that. You know what I'm saying? Let's build some towers. We have actually money. We can afford to do that. We don't want to lose this castle, obviously. The Balrog. What is he doing? He has not much time left. He's gone. Okay. Now we can go find... He has freezing rain, but it's okay. But you know what we're going to do? We will just ignore the army and focus down the buildings and structures exclusively to finish off this game with a victory screen. And I'm proud, guys. I'm very proud because it was not easy. Trust me. It was not, not easy. It's not been easy for me. It has not been easy for me. And, you know, I, I started off in Brooklyn. My father gave me a small loan of a million dollars. You heard it, guys. It was not easy for us. Glory is charge. Let's go for death and glory. Destroy everything. Just focus down the buildings and carry us to victory. The rhythm mark shall be victorious once again over the evil faction Isengard. Saruman, your day is over. The age of the Rohirrim has come. You want to make peace? We shall make peace. But where was actually Gondor when Westfold fell? GG well played guys. Outpost is falling apart. And that is the victory screen we deserved. We were struggling. We were fighting for it. But victorious is... Victory is at hand. GG well played. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like on this video. Subscribe for more content like this in the future. Until then, take care of yourselves. And as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out.